Happy Thursday, friends. I'm ABC 13 meteorologist Alita Loresco with a look at your one minute weather. Today through Friday morning, a weather alert day for the potential for some flooding. We're going to see some training hailstorms, mainly north of the Houston area, two to four inches, and then shifting as we get into the evening hours. Here you can see future track displaying a lot of the activity will be focused mainly west and northwest of Houston as that front remains stalled along the Gulf of Mexico. Now, as we get into the afternoon, we'll start to see periods of heavy rain becoming more widespread with more coverage entering the Houston area and areas along the coastline. But I think the heaviest of that rain still remains north and west of Houston. We do have a model agreement that we will begin to see waves of heavy rain moving overnight tonight into tomorrow morning as a disturbance combines with a warm front that will be pushing near the coastline. It does look like by Friday morning that heavy rain could linger for the Friday morning commute and then that storm system this rainmaker is expected to dig further to the south as we get into the afternoon which will allow for some drier conditions by the evening there's still going to be some scattered showers but the widespread coverage will be diminishing overnight Friday into Saturday morning we get our last wave of showers those showers begin to wind down as we approach sunrise and the majority of your Saturday should be dry along with some sunshine as we get closer toward four or five o'clock in the afternoon. So putting it all together, the rain cast is projecting the heaviest rain through tonight will be located in our northwest counties and then we'll start to see some periods of heavy rain overnight tonight into tomorrow morning from Houston southward. Some of those coastal locations could pick up between two to four inches of rain, which could lead to some street flooding as we get into the Friday time frame for the weekend. A shower early temperatures should drop into the 50s. Meanwhile, afternoon highs in the 70s, a little warmer for Easter Sunday and beyond the holiday weekend. We are staying mostly dry until the end of the week when we bring back those small chances of rain. All right, my friends, uh, hope you have a safe Thursday. Make sure you tune into ABC 13 for the latest details.